do it. Welcome to Burning Questions, where the wings are hot and the questions are hotter. I'm Levi Adams, and today with me we have... I'm Mr. Skibby. So, without further ado, let's go on to the first wing. Alright, let's do it. Hope you remember which order you put them in. Oh yes, this one. Okay, here we go. That's not too bad. See, that's right in my wheelhouse. Excellent. So what exactly is your role here as a teacher at North? So, um, I am a social studies teacher. This year I teach honors U.S. history, and I've been teaching that ever since I started working here. Um, but I also am teaching uh, economics, and then even last year I taught some government classes. Um, so I'm here basically, I, I love teaching different social studies classes. We go through a lot of cool social studies topics, and we try to apply them to our day in, day out lives. So that's, that's always the goal. Without further ado, next wing. Let's do it. Yeah, this one I think I'm okay because I didn't put as much on it. No one's got like a late burn. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, that one's got a late burn to it. Oh, goodness gracious. You're in Me for a treat later. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I know. I can already feel it. So, what is your favorite subject in history? Oh, that's a really hard question. In history in general? Ooh, I really like um, specifically to teach and also to learn about. I really like talking about the Civil War and then more so afterwards. I like talking about Reconstruction after the Civil War. I think that not only do students oftentimes find a lot of connections between their current lives and that moment, but I think there is a lot of really cool things that just happen at that point that have set up a lot of the rest of maybe more modern history. So I think that that's a really interesting time period. I love to read about it and just investigate it a little bit more. All right, you ready? I, I, I will say it wasn't as hot to start and then I started talking and it got bad. So if number three is, is that, we're gonna have some troubles. Number three is that. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. I put a lot on it too. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that's it. Woo! Oh boy. So why is learning about history so important? Oh gosh, oh gosh. So, oh, am I allowed to drink water? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need some water here. Oh. I'm gonna wipe the tears from my eyes. So learning about history is so important. The way we think about it is, oh my gosh, Levi, do you see the tears in my eyes? Look what you've done to me. Oh, I need another one just to wipe out the tears. Oh. So teaching history is really important because we have a lot of issues in our everyday society. We have a lot of stuff that we still want to figure out. How do we learn from the past to make decisions in the future? In the future? That's the whole crux of my history courses, and that's why it's so important to talk about history. You ready? Oh, are you crying with me too? Oh my gosh, Levi. It's about to get worse. No, you can't tell me that. Next wing. Well, you're already diving in. Oh boy, I gotta separate my napkins. Oh gosh. <sighs> See, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you're maybe not my student here. Oh boy, gosh. I'm taking a small bite. Oh god. Oh gosh. Ugh. Oh, down the back of my throat. <laughs> Whew, hit me with it. So, I also hear you're the advisor for academic team. I am. 
<laughs> so, what exactly is Academic Team? Ah, so Academic Team is a really fun club. There's, wherever you go to different schools, they might have different names for it. Scholastic Bowl, Quiz Bowl, whatever. We like to think of it as like a kind of a trivia group. You get a lot of different questions over different topics. Oh my gosh. Whew. You get a lot of different questions on different topics in different areas, and you're competing with other schools in the conference. And eventually, if we do well across the state, to basically say, hey, what do you know? It's kind of like, uh, in a way, like trivia, but or like uh, Jeopardy, but with a team. I can feel it all over my tongue. Oh my gosh, Levi, what have you done to me? <gasps> On to the last wing. Oh my gosh, thank you. I was smart this time. I was smart this time. This wing has the least amount on it. Oh boy. Let's go. Ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 I feel like I need the distraction of a question. Oh my gosh. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. <laughs> So how does mental health tie into history? So the, the interesting thing about mental health and how we look at it with history is that it is so applicable. We see it all the time. Um, it's, if you look at even American history, we look at it back at like World War I or even a little bit after the Civil War when people say, hey, it seems as if my loved one has changed after going to war. They have what we call shell shock. I have shell shock from these wings, oh my gosh. And we now look at that, we see it in terms of like, oh, we know that that is post-traumatic stress disorder. Seeing those things and being able to say, hey, there are things throughout history that change the way we view the world, and how can we help people um, just with their mental health? How can we say, hey, we understand that this thing's happened to you, how can we give you help? Is a huge part of history. And it helps students relate it back to their own lives because we all have struggles. We all need help. So mental health and history go hand in hand with each other. Well, congratulations. You have climbed our heat mountain. How are you feeling? My tongue is about to fall off. I, I, I feel like I have regrets. But I won't lie, this is not one of them. This is quite fun. Well, congratulations once again. Take a look at the camera and tell them what's going on in your life. What's going on in my life? Well, we're teaching, we're having fun, walking my dogs, eating some hot wings. Well, congratulations once again. I'm Levi Adams, and this has been Burning Questions. <laughs>